the therapies that help helped Jason the most. I mean, when he first came home from the hospital and was just above a persistent vegetative state, I was mean, a he, he had been in a coma for three months. So it took a while to get a relearn eating and talking and everything like that. As the therapies have progressed, um, clearly the physical ones, because what we've learned with any kind of physical therapy is that it does help his brain. He's got to stay physically active in order for his brain to repair. And um, so it's important for the physical therapy to continue, um, which we're doing now with the horseback riding and the personal trainer. Uh, but I will say one of the challenges with physical therapy, and this doesn't have anything to do with a military injury or anything, is that the traditional physical therapy is very, it's a very finite um, program. And they have told me it's not meant to be long term. But when you have a TBI, it has to be long term because you're retraining the brain to do those functions. I mean, he had to be retrained to eat and to speak. So walking is just along the same lines as that. Mm. And it takes a, it might take a little bit longer, but he's doing things that nobody thought he would do. And so we just, and so long as he's making progress, although it might be not as quick as it was at the beginning, um, he's still making progress. And we can't stop because um, like the, the textbook says, meh. So, you know, and I don't like the idea of their, them teaching us as caregivers what to do at home, because one of the things that helps Jason, too, is not to be with his parents 24-7. He needs to have that diversity. He needs to get out and be with other people. And that also helps. I, I really hope that as you know, they learn more about TBI through all of these, you know, different types that have been going on, that eventually that, that gets better. And I'm already doing enough. I can't become a physical therapist too. <laughs> Brainline is powered in part by Wounded Warrior Project to honor and empower post 9-11 injured service members, veterans, and their families. 